Hey, you guys. I said that I was going to do an all-purpose flour. And I want to try it. So, went in the pantry. And... Bam, here we go. I'll try it. Just that quick. <laughs> hey, honey. Hey there. I'm not gonna put a lot on here because I might not like hey hey how you guys doing all right let me try this flower this is all purpose flower I'm gonna try it not bad. It's actually sweet. Mm. Okay. I also got I don't want the yellow box. I've never tried it. I'm ready to try it. I'm really not liking that flower because it has like a an aftertaste. That won't be a favorite. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me try rice flour and see what's the difference and then I'll tell y'all. Hold on. Try the rice flour. Mm. Hey, you guys. Uh, the rice flour. Is a rougher texture. Uh, it almost tastes like potato starch. This. Mm, is nasty. Whew. And this. It's better than that. But. Mm -mm. No I think I'll stick to my starch. It almost got a texture like bricks. That rice flour. That's not gonna happen on this video. Mm -mm. I won't be able to do that. Mm -mm. No, you guys, no, no, no. But I will try this. I'm gonna see if it's the same as the blue top. Okay. All right, now let's try this. It 
Hey, Shonda. Yes, there is a difference. This is smoother than the blue top to me. This is my first time trying the box Argo. And it's smoother. Okay. Well, I'm glad you made it. Hey, hey, hey. Mm-hmm. The box is thicker and it's smoother to me. I like it. Yes, Shonda, this might be my new go-to. Mm-hmm. Is that like a sweet? <clears throat> I'm starting to love it too. Mm hmm. I love it. It's got like a milky. It's good. But they like to choke the funk out of me just a minute ago. Mm -mm. Haven't warmed it yet. This is my first time. You guys seen me open the box and everything. But this is what I want from now on. Tapioca is good, but this just this is good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -mm. Hey, so you gotta get some of this. This is good. Well, you better start buying Asia. Buy this right here. It is good. This is really good. It's kind of putting laundry down. Hey, Trina. Mm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm going to mix this. And the clapper girl. All right, Trina. I'll I'll check it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm loving that. I really am. Hey, Shay Shay. Hey, Alma. Thank you. Yeah, I went out, y'all. And I said I wanted to try the flower. Went in the pantry. And, um, here at my mom's. And, um, I know, girl. And I'm, I'm, I'm up. I'm at my mom's place, so new space right now. No pickles over here yet, but that's okay. We're gonna get some pickles. <laughs> yeah, I love pickles with my starch. <laughs> it's the best. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do some stuffed pickles with starch. 
really good. I had to grab some more of the with that almost so earlier. But anyway, this Argo box is good. <laughs> When you eat a starch, you don't think about no water until you almost choke. That's when you want water. For me. I don't know about nobody else. But yeah. And yellow box is the bomb. Whatever you do. Whatever you do, don't buy this. This tastes like grits. And as far as the flour go, it's sweet. It's good, but you know, I just like regular, hey, patting. Yeah, I'm gonna try some chunks with it, lovely dove. Cause it is that good. I mean, it's really good. I should have did about that a long time ago. Oh, that box ain't there is the bomb. It really is. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure gonna try it. Welcome, new subby. Yeah, I'm going to try some chunks, y'all. And since my mom has a deep freezer, y'all, so I think the the deep freezer will help the... Hey. I know, girl. That flower is too sweet. And not only that, it has a bad... It has an aftertaste to it. I'm just like, ooh. It was good in the beginning, but then... After that, the aftertaste, oh no. I don't think I can work with that. And I didn't take much because I don't know I don't know what kind of effects to have on anybody know about, you know, if it gives you gas or the runs or I probably should have asked that at first, but too late now. It's too doughy. It wasn't really doughy. It was just it was good. It was sweet and good. But the aftertaste of it just had me in a mm -mm, it's not for me uh -uh. no but this right here honey this Argo in the box is my new that's my new baby y'all so y'all keep that in mind so next month if I ever ask y'all you know this is my new baby tapioca is, is getting like getting some things above it 365 is good. They say put salt or seasoning that you like. With the starch? No, I don't really like no seasoning in it. 
any seasoning I do is like pickles or something like that or pineapples. Oh, oh, and the flour. Well, I don't think I'm, me and flour gonna have any be friends anymore because it just that aftertaste. Mm -mm. And if I gotta put something in it to make it, you know, taste like I want it, I don't want it. You know, besides like the craving that I have to have with it, like pickles or pineapples or something like that. But just for me to just have to put a seasoning in it, nah. But I guess that's a crave too. Argo laundry was good to me. I like it too. It's smooth. It's good. But I prefer um, over Argo laundry. Um, I like the Argo, this box. Or Rumford. Rumford is my... I'm going to have to try that. You know what? I'm going to try that. Even though I might not like it as far as the powder, I could probably chunk it up. I want to try the chunks of it and see. Maybe I can mix it. Because, you know, um, I was reading about starch and flour. Oh, girl, Rumford is the bomb. Rumford is the bomb. I love it. And it'll choke you, too, if you don't be careful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I cried about that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's really good. Is it raining where anyone is? Mm. <laughs> yeah, don't have to worry about me no more either. That is no good. Mm -mm. This? Nope. It was only 98 cents, so I don't, I don't feel hurt at all. But this is almost like grits. It gets no attention. Chunks of nut. I don't think I would even do chunks with this. I don't think I've ever tried that one. Or if I did, I don't remember. It must not have been too good if I don't remember trying it. But I'm talking about this one right here. That's the one I do not like and will not buy again. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. It gets no play in my kitchen, period. Nor does flour, unless I'm making chunks. I'm going to try some chunks with um, the flour. I think they'll make good chunks because it does thicken really good. And it's sweet. But once you get, get it through your system, like out your mouth, that aftertaste is really horrible. So I don't want nothing that's gonna give me a bad taste in my mouth. But this clabber girl, I like this one. Wow. It's raining here, but it's nowhere near 60 degrees. No, my jaws haven't gotten tired yet. Now, back in the day, you know, when you're pregnant, you just get lazy. Yeah, I've had that to happen, but not, not, 
in the past 20 something years I haven't had it happen. But that means just that it's a lot of thick starch you um, have in your mouth, I'm assuming. Hey, Christina. Hey, Kimberly. It's a no for me, too. I won't do that one again. Mm -mm. And I was thinking, well, let me spice it up and get a new. I'm going to stop doing that, too. Right? <laughs> I always try to get one if I'm going to get something that I've never had before. I always try to get one just in case I don't like it. I'm not stuck. But, you know, if you didn't pay but 50 cents for it, man, it's not a bad deal. But, yeah, you guys, I did that flower, honey. I promised y'all I was going to do that flower. And no, ma'am, not again. Oh no, honey. Mm -mm. I'm so sorry. Can you request something else for me to do? Because baby powder, I can't. I can't do baby powder. I'm sorry. You can request me to do something else, but baby powder, I cannot. Chalk, I could. You know what? I got a surprise coming up for y'all with the chalk deal. Girl, move. I, I'm from Pennsylvania. I was born in Pennsylvania and I was raised a short while there until I was probably about like 11 or whatever, off and on. And then um, I moved to Birmingham. But once I got to the, um, like Florida, the South, you couldn't make me go back to the snow. I went to visit and it was cold. Nope. Mm -mm. I haven't been back yet. <laughs> I do not like snow. Okay, I got you. Messy eating the Mount of Argo. I got you. I got you on that one. No, I can do that. Put that baby powder. Ugh. And don't please don't feel bad because somebody else requested me to do some Kool-Aid and I tried it. Ooh. Oh my gosh, man. That was the worst thing ever. So I, I, I try to do things that I know that's not going to make me sick. And I know that baby powder will, because you know you ever had got baby powder on your lip or on your hand or something you tried? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Some of my earlier videos, I did scented soap. That coconut by Dow. Oh, my gosh. If you put it inside of your um, chunks or inside of your starch and put it in the freezer cold. Oh, my gosh. That scented, that coconut scented Dow. Man, that's so good. I could eat it all day. Yep, I can do that. Girl, you might want to get you uh, um, some plans back to Tampa then. Because that snow might be really bad this year. Because we had such a hot summer. I think that the winter is going to be really, really cold. Yeah, I like Irish Spring. The Irish Spring was good too when I tried it. I'll do another window. Because that's been like months. That was months months ago so oh my goodness yeah girl you you do have to sneak how did you get into cornstarch by being so young i mean what made you crave it see for me i was i was pregnant and it started that way and then i just got hooked but how did you get hooked on it by being 15 Hey, Nene. Well, um, Tanya, um, yeah, the flower. I, I, some people get into flour. Some people are into flour. And some people are into starch. If you try it. <laughs> yeah, that does happen. I've done that, too. I've been. Um, 
Okay, I got you. I got the tapioca and peaches coming again, too, for you. I like that one, too. I, I love that, actually. No, you're not talking too much. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm enjoying it. So feel free to say whatever you guys want to say. I'm here. I'm ready to talk. You know, I'm off work. I'm relaxing. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I enjoy it, honey. This, 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 you guys are helping me right now, you know, like giving me more things to do and think about besides just, you know, like sobbing. Oh, yeah. I used to do that too. Well, I got a little pouch that I take with me. <laughs> Guys. But yeah, I um I have a pouch that I take with me and if, if food gets to taking too long or if I'm getting bored and you know people smoke, I don't smoke, I I occasionally drink, so I just pull out my starch every day. Every day. Oh honey. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. Again, I want you to pick something else. And I'm very sorry, but that's some flower chunks, maybe. Oh well, yeah. You can pick a like. I live in a small part of Florida. It's growing, but it's not as big. It's not big at all. The traffic is nothing like Tampa, Orlando, or Miami. Those I've lived in Miami and Orlando, and the traffic is nasty. And I've been to Tampa visiting, and the traffic is nasty. But where I am in Florida is the last part of Florida heading west. So um, we're almost Alabama. And it's really, compared to those places, like slow. I don't know what type of work you do. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I have Modus too. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, I used to live in Miramar, Tanya. So, um, I, I know that traffic is horrible. Yeah, that, that traffic in Fort Lauderdale is, is bananas. <laughs> But yeah, I tried the mold. I, I haven't tried the molders yet. But if you're gonna do them, you gotta do them in the microwave, and you gotta do them in like three and four increments. <laughs> yeah, I like the cotton candy with a uh, tapioca, cause tapioca is kind of sweet, like a like a cake mix kind of like. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, those pickles in that Argo or either Rumford, man, make you hurt yourself, the, especially if they're good and crunchy. They have to be crunchy pickles. Don't get no soggy pickles because you're going to be disappointed. Get some good crunchy pickles. Yeah, I'm, I was I was near, um, my actually my house is in Miramar, near, um, oh gosh, uh oh, wait one minute. How about a hot Cheeto? Oh, okay. I'll do the hot Cheeto brick too. Okay. But yeah, I was near um, County Line Road. Yeah. Hello, Ice, my first love. I forgot what I was saying. But somebody asked. Yeah, Bot Sunday and Argo is really good together. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> What's some, you guys watch some of my videos what's like the um the best one that you say okay you know has somebody tried whatever i've done 
Have you tried the peaches and starch? I know somebody said they tried pickles and stuff like that, but I've also did some with the uh, Cheetos and Argo. Was it Rumford? One or the other, but that's really good too. That's a good mixture. I saw somebody do the Pringles, but the Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Asian store does sell so many brands, but you have to be careful with some of those brands because um, those brands are like laxative. Like, for unreal, it's like a laxative. I don't know what they got in them or whatever, but they, um, <clears throat> they'll have you go into the bathroom or they will give you gas really, really bad. So you have to be careful. Like the ones that you've known that somebody else done, try to stick to those. But going off the record, trying to get some of those. Mm -mm. Did you like it, Kimberly? You say you did it with the um, pickles and Rumford. Did you like it? I love it. I, I mean, I can't wait to get me some pickles. And I'm doing it. You know what, you guys? I'm going to have a feast because I like, like I did before. But I got a better, better phone with a better camera. Oh, I'm glad you did, Kim. With um, not only that, I have a computer now. You can find anybody Sunday anywhere. Um, well, email me, Nene, and um, cause I have we have five Sunday here, so email me. Try the cornstarch with soap. It's really good. You just sit it in there. Don't um, you know, don't, don't try to do no shaving and all that. I don't do that because. You know, some people used to it and immune to it, but if you haven't tried it for yourself, like just on the low, without you know being live or doing a video or something like that, or or being around somebody, I wouldn't try it because sometimes that stuff make you go to the bathroom. I'm just saying because I've had the experience, y'all. So. Oh yeah, yeah. You should go somewhere, um, you know, like, for me, the city life was really, really good as far as money-wise, but uh, sanity-wise, it was it was bananas. Yeah, I have had the um, arrowroot in the box, Sandy, in the, in the container. I do. But um, getting back to the, the um, city, I love the city life, but... Um, yeah, I like the squeaky too. Squeaky or either crunchy. But um, as far as like keeping me in my sin, my being sane, I love a small city, a small place like this where I'm at, because the traffic is like you can get anywhere 15 minutes or less, and um, they have a lot of stuff going on here as well. Hey, sweetie, I miss you, Naya. I I haven't started, but um, that I can start doing order, orders, Tanya. My email is shannyside3 at gmail.com. Oh, yeah. I've been there, too. Um, time out. I've been there, too. Hey. Yeah, I'll do a break as well. You're welcome, Nene. Yeah, I've been there two time out, and it was it was bad. It was really really bad. Like some people wouldn't believe how bad it was, but it was it was bad. It was really really bad, and um, I, I I agree with you, and I feel you on what you said. Me it, that being in a situation like that is not healthy at all, especially for your your sanity. Yes. Yes, Tanya. Yeah, if you're if you're away from it, stay away from it and don't go back. I went back a couple of times because I felt like I had no options and I had no other way out, but you know, once I got it together, I really got away from it and I wouldn't recommend going back cuz it only hurts even worse. <laughs> Where's the cornstarch? 
right here. I was eating it before you guys came on. Oh, girl, God is good. And I'm, congratulations. I'm so glad. And I'm about to get married. So I'm very, very glad for you. And I'm glad that you don't have to deal with that anymore. Hi, Rashida. Yes, I do. I like it, Ebony. Tanya, girl, where you at? You talking about, um, I did too. Yeah, time out. I feel you, girl. I don't advise that to anyone either at all. You know, it's hard and people don't understand it, but once you get away from it, you, you're good. Okay, Savannah is not bad. Yeah, I stopped eating the starch right now while I'm talking to you guys because it's messy and when I'm trying to talk and starch flying and everything like that, it's crazy. And not only that, I'll be eating um, here soon. I'm only eating vegetables, so I don't want to fill up on starch and then try to put vegetables on top because that's going to be another party for me. Stomach party. But yeah, I did want to come on here and at least do that flower like I said I was which um thank you time out yeah I'm excited nervous and all at one time but you know I know it's a good thing for me yeah oh man for a lot of Dale I like for a lot of Dale too but then the traffic is nasty oh thank you I did a different color this time. I was kind of, actually, I wasn't looking for this color. She kind of, um, she kind of whipped this one on me, but it's okay. I like it. They're cute. Thank you so much. Do, um, so do anybody did you any of you guys live in the same city that eat starch? Like you, you guys could have like a start starch luncheon or something. I wish we all lived in like the same like area so that it wouldn't be so far to travel. And yeah, they do, Tanya. <laughs> I just realized that. Oh <laughs> I know. Sometimes I don't even re realize that I have them until, like, I smile or something, and then they come up. So I got some things that I have to do. I got a lot of requests going on here. I'm excited because I love making bricks and stuff. But you know the one thing that I haven't got down packed is those water chunks. But I'm going to get those things down packed. And, um... Oh, and Pensacola, Ebony. But yeah, I'm going to get those water chunks down. And when I do, oh, I think I got them, though. I think y'all going to be proud of me. Make sure you do and call me too because I've been waiting to hear from you. Hey, Steph, I'm glad you caught me. Girl, you're not odd. It's, it's a lot of people that do and a lot of people on the download. They don't like for people to know that they eat starch and flour. and Some, some people eat the weirdest stuff that we would never, ever, ever think about. I'll just say that. I won't say some stuff that they eat, but yeah, some people eat weird stuff. I'm I'm just I I just can't get with that uh um baby powder. I just can't. I 
I've had a little bit in my hand and I've tasted it and I'm just like, oh. So everybody's stomach don't agree. I, I Maybe it's the thought of knowing, I don't know. But I just, mm -mm, me and baby powder just don't have a good relationship, honey. Especially when it comes to my stomach. So how many times a day do you guys eat starch? Does anybody eat starch? Do you eat it just like once in a while? Do you sneak? Who sneaks and eat it? I, I can eat a scented. Oh, that's not bad. Delight, you said three times? I eat it every chance I get. I could be sitting here like I'm talking to you guys and I just pick up some starch, eat it. Put it down like a snack. Honestly, it's like a snack to me. Okay. Does anybody carry theirs out with them? Like I carry mine in a little pouch. And I just pull it out. Like we could be sitting there talk, having a girl talking. I pull it out. Oh, I haven't tried the washing powder now. My stomach, my stomach is really, you know, easy to get uh, queasy. So I, I be careful on what I mix with mine. Oh, really? I like mine cold too. Only the powder will I eat, um, you know, like lukewarm or either. Yeah, I take mine to work with me too, but it's at work it's really iffy because I got to sneak with it, you know. I'm just like. <laughs> I hear you, Tanya, girl. That's me, too. I just go, you know, I feel like I'll go in there and just take me a spoon and dip it in there. It's like a snack. Like, you know, most of the time people snack for chips and whatever, but I snack on starch. That's my thing. And a lot of people don't understand it because the first thing they say, it don't have a taste to it. But they don't understand you have to get that matte. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's why I try not to eat before I go to bed, too, because it does make you feel weird. <laughs> now, your girl, you better put it in a, a special container or something so that they can't get it. My kids say the same, well, my boys, they be like, Ma, come on now. I haven't tried that, Kim, but I will. I'll try it. Oh, Tanya, me too. Me too. That I, that that makes me know that I'm not the only weird one. I was, Amber, I was eating earlier when I first started, like 40 minutes ago. But I'm going to be eating dinner here soon, so I don't want to load up on it. Yeah, now, if you live alone, you ain't got to sneak or nothing. You could just get on and eat whenever you want to. But when you live with somebody, they're looking at you like you're weird. Why, Tanya? How you manage to do that? How your kids and your grandkids eat it? Well, the mat is like, I don't know. Hey, bro, what's up? But the mat is when you put your starch in your mouth on the spoon, you get a spoon like this. And I'm going to show you guys because somebody's not understanding the mat. So you get this spoon right here. See the starch? The starch is like flour. So you want to get into a mat like a chunk, but it's the chunk's not going to be hard. It's almost like a clay make. So...
Who am I, dude? I know men say all kind of stuff. Oh, it's just in your head, this, that, and the other. Oh, bacon butter. Oh, my God. That is a mat. You have matted your starch up. So that way... You're not going to swallow it like this, dry like that. You're not going to swallow it like that. You're going to get a mat to where it's thick like you were making gravy. But instead, it's in your mouth instead of in a pan. So that's what a mat is. Sorry, you guys. Didn't mean to gross you out. But I had to explain it. Because my husband does not get it. <laughs> So, I had to show him what I was talking about. Hey, girl, Royal Lucky. I'm so glad you did. Girl, I was so glad that I was able to make it there before they closed because most of the time when I get off work, they're closed already. I was so glad. I was excited. I was like, ooh, let me hurry up and email her. So I'm so glad that you did. And thanks for letting me know that you received the email. Oh, that's cool. Whatever is fine. But if you need, um, email me if you need to, um, And guess what? I found an Argo box today. So in the place of that, if you could do two creams, just let me know. And if you need me to do something for the green top, if you need me to send something cash up, I'll do that for the green top. Or if they don't have it yet and you have to get it another time, then that's fine. All right, girl. I'll be looking for it, girl. I'm excited. For about 30 years. Hey, Chandra. So Royal, how often do you eat starch? Ooh, okay, so you're gonna have a good time, girl. You're gonna have a real good time. Well, Ebony, 
I'm only doing fruits and vegetables, so it's going to be some spinach. Oh, yeah, Royal, you about in the same um, category as me. <laughs> thank you ebony well to like take your time because a lot of times when we say we're gonna stop something and we try to do it cold turkey it never happens that way and you always go back you find yourself like getting one spoon then it's two spoons then you got a whole bowl of it and then you feel bad because you said you was gonna stop i just you know i just take my time you know i've, I've gotten better to where I don't have, I used to carry the little box, like this box, around eating it. And I was like, okay, I gotta do better. So I've done a lot better. Cause I'm so discreet now. Like you don't know if I'm eating it or not. Some people don't. Yeah, that arrowroot is cool, but it, it I don't know if it do it to you now. You let me know if it do it if it happens to you. Do, does it give you gas? Do you do you, do you get the toilet um, you know, nightmare or is it it do your stomach disagree with it? Oh, wow. <laughs> Royal, I haven't got to the um the baby powder yet. I can't. I don't um, I, I'm not there. Stephanie, my favorite brand is Box Red Mill, the tapioca. Why? Because it has a uh it has a taste that's different. It's kind of like a milky, a powdered milk. I don't know if you guys ever. True. True. It's it's really good. It's really, really good. And um, it's smooth. It's not that powdery, harsh taste. It, it's smooth. It's really good. Yeah, well, with the health thing, oh, yeah, the Asian brand, that's what I was telling everybody that you got to be careful with that Asian brand because it does make you go to the bathroom. And as far as the health wise is, um, okay, talk to you later, Royal. Yeah, the, um, as far as health wise, you have to um, eat in moderation and you also have to make sure that you're, um, that's what anything, you're drinking a lot of water to flush it out because if it sits on your stomach, it could be bad. It could be bad for you. And it makes you gain weight and different things like that. But water is the key to everything, you know, more water than you're normally used to because with it sitting on your stomach with food that's no good, that's toxic or whatever. And also, y'all make sure you take a probiotic. Um, it helps get rid of toxins and stuff like that. And it'll help you flush out, regulate your system. Because that starch does build up. Yeah. 
I like the bricks because I like crunch. Yeah, and also you have to use saline. You use a saline, and you also, um, most of the time you use saline at night to clean your nose out. And um, you do the, what is it, neti pot? Some people do that. I don't know who does it or who don't. But um, you always have to use something to clear out your um, nasal passageways. But I don't know, you know, if everybody does that or knows that, but, but yeah. Hmm. I never had a problem with the, um, with the menstrual. You know, it causing a problem for the menstrual. Hey, honey, how are you, Cameron? Girl, yeah. All right, Elma, you have a good night. Be careful picking up, be safe. Picking up your kids. Yeah, girl, if you if it go down the wrong pipe, it'll, it will do some stuff to you. It'll damage you. Hey, LaShonda. Thank you, Jax. Oh, I've been eating it 30 years, Chloe. Yeah, this, today was my first time trying flour, and that's the last time. Mm -mm. Well, I won't say the last time, but the last time trying powder flour, I will have to make chunks. I think I'm going to do a mixture and put some chunks in it, but. Yeah, Carmen. Yeah, you guys, so that's what I'll do. I'm going to make a break out of this Argo in the box. Me and I love this stuff. I'm going to make it. Bye, Delight. Thank you. <laughs> Girl. You still young, honey. Time out, you still young. No matter how old your age, the number gets, you're still young until you, you know, put your mind and your age together. And then that's when you feel old. I'll do it, bro. <laughs> Carmen, most people do. Thank you, LaShond. I hope I'm saying your name right. Stephanie, it, it hasn't affected me in any type of way badly. Um, the most I could say would probably be gaining weight or gas, or but other than that, no. Um, I think um, it affects different people in different ways. It depends on the moderation and how they eat it. If they eat it with a bunch of greasy foods and unhealthy foods and stuff, I'm sure that it causes 
problems. Really? You know something? I had a starch that made me itch like that one time. I couldn't figure out which one it was. And, but I know one thing. I didn't eat. Yeah, I love Argo too. It's really good. Especially this box right here. I've been um, eating Blue Top for the longest and um, it's good. But um, this box right here now, I'm in love with that. So I'll be eating that now. Hopefully, maybe. But as for now, it's a go. Bob's Red Meal. It's running neck and neck. I know I said that about another one, but this really, this really, really good. It almost tastes like tapioca. Well, you guys, I'm going to get off of here and um, get myself ready for tomorrow. Because um, I need to eat. I, have, I try to, I don't eat after 8 o'clock. Yeah, girl, me and flour didn't work out either, Stephanie, so. Thank you, Naya. Have a blessed night as well. Good night, Kim. Good night, Carmen. You all have a good night, and thanks for chiming in with me. And when more chunks come, I'll have them ready for you guys to test out in front of you. Yeah, get you some iron pills and drink a lot of water, Stephanie. And um, and don't eat as much starch as you used to until you can wean yourself away from it if you eat a lot of it. All right, you guys. Good night.